Hello everybody, Anya here from Mary Anning Rocks. Uh, just thought I'd come on and give you a little bit of an update of what we've been doing this past year during lockdown. Absolutely gutted that we can't actually physically all be there together again. Another fossil festival um, has come and gone. Um, but hopefully there's lots of great stuff that you can get virtually. Um, so yeah, so what have we been up to? Uh, so in February of this year, we absolutely smashed our crowdfund, which was amazing. Uh, we kind of stuck around the 70k mark for a while and it was a bit of touch and go and we were kind of thinking, oh God, you know, are we going to hit the 100k mark or is, or is this kind of it? Um, and then we had some great pieces in The Guardian um, and I think The Times picked up on us as well. Um, and literally, boom, with a week to spare of our crowdfund, we hit the 100, uh, 100k mark, which is just brilliant. Um, and not only that, we have now smashed the 100k mark because we are still crowdfunding. It's still open, you can still go in there, you can still donate. We are still crowdfunding for the Mary Annie Rocks Learning Legacy and to date we've got an uh, extra 20,000 um, to, to use for the educational part of what we want to do. Um, and a fundamental part of that will be taking children from underserved uh, places in the UK that would never get the opportunity to uh, go to a beach, let alone take them out on a fossil walk to find actual fossils themselves. Um, and we'll be, we'll be funding those trips for them, so really exciting stuff. Um, and the other really amazing bit of news is we had our maquette day, which was a quite a low-key low key affair because of Covid. We had to be Covid safe. Um, but we did that on um, Mary's birthday, so that was May the, we actually did it on May the 22nd because it was a uh, Saturday. Um, and I've got the maquette here to show you. So here she is. So this beautiful maquette, which is a model's sort of scaled down version of what the statue will look like. Uh, it's been done by Denise Dutton, our artist. Um, the actual real Mary that will be cast in bronze will be life and a quarter. So she's not going to be massively tall, um, she's going to be um, life and a quarter. But we're just so pleased with the composition and everyone that came to see it on our, our maquette um, day absolutely loved her as well. Uh, and it's just the detail. She's got, you know, obviously Trey had to be there with her. Everyone loved Trey. She's got a basket and ammonite in her hand. Um, and Denise and myself and some of the trustees spent a long time talking about her costume. We, we spoke in great lengths to the, the Victoria and Albert Museum. Um, and we were massively helped by their costume department to get what she would have worn out on the beaches, you know, correct. So yeah, she is now ready to go in her um, museum um, perspex box and she's going to reside at Lyme Regis Museum this summer. So if you want to go and get a closer look at her, do pop along to Lyme Regis Museum um, and she will be on um, semi-permanent display there um, and you can get a really good close-up of her. So yeah. Thank you for all your donations, all your kind words of support. It, it just meant so much to me and Evie and the committee and the trustees. Uh, I mean, we just really couldn't have done it without you. So a, a huge big thanks to you. Thank you. Mary Annie Rocks. <laughs>